Welcome back everybody. On today's episode we're going to be installing Oracle Linux. Oracle Linux is an enterprise based system and uh, it uses the GNOME desktop. It's, uh, it's one of those systems that's uh, mainly used for uh, system admins and things like that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and install it and take a look at it since this is a new version 9.3. All right, I have the uh, installer open and we are on our language selection. It's automatically selected English, which is correct. So let's move along. All right, on our next screen, we're gonna set up our hard drive. Let's do that now. Select your hard drive, double click it, click done. Should take care of it. Let's set up our root password. root password is set up now let's create a user all right created a user with administrative uh, access and done next I'm going to set up my software selection which is going to be a workstation and I'm going to install some GNOME some GNOME applications internet applications office suite Let's see what else is there anything else we need might as well install the relevant tool just in case graphical administration alright I'll just leave it at that and date and time are correct everything else all right begin installation all right installation has begun so uh this is going to take around five to ten minutes so uh i'll pause the video now and then uh once it's ready i'll come back all right oracle linux 9.3 has finished installing so let's go ahead and uh, reboot the system and take a look at Oracle. Okay, we have rebooted, so let's go ahead and log in and see Oracle. Okay, as we've logged in, you can see we have the GNOME desktop here, and we are welcomed by our welcome screen, which is a tour. So let's go ahead and take this tour real quick. Start the tour. Learn about new and essential features in Oracle Linux Server 9.3. All right, get an overview. Press activities to see open windows and apps. Make apps your own. Arrange the app grid to your liking. Keep on top of workspaces. Easily organize windows with the new workspaces view. Up down for overview. On a touchpad, use three fingers vertical swipes. Try it. Left right for workspaces. On a touchpad, use three fingers horizontal swipes. Try it. And that's it. We hope that you enjoy Oracle Linux Server 9.3. To get more advice and tips, see the help app. All right. So as stated before, this is a GNOME, GNOME desktop. So we have our uh, panel on top, which consists of a system tray over here. And the system tray on GNOME is a, uh, is a button that serves all of the system trays. So it's just one single button. You click on it, you have a volume rocker, your internet connection, your settings, and your session manager. So it's all combined into one button. Then in the middle of the panel, we have the time and the calendar. Well, clicking on the time opens up the calendar. And this is a calendar that has uh, notifications 
and it also has a calendar that you can set up events. And on the left upper corner, we have our activities. And activities opens up our dock, which also houses the application launcher, and it has some uh, pinned applications to it itself. So let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the uh, application launcher first. Let's see what applications we have. We have videos, calculator, text editor, settings system monitor, utilities, cheese, Bracero, Evolution, Hex Chat, the LibreOffice Suite, the SE Linux Troubleshooter, the Tor, and ULN Registration. But we're going to start by looking at the dock applications. So this is our terminal, the GNOME terminal. Let's see what version of uh, 3.40.3. And while we have our terminal open, let's see uh, if DNF works. DNF is what uh, enterprise based systems use for installing equipment. Similar to app, but instead of app, you just use DNF. So sudo dnf install let's see do they have htop we shall see if they have htop oh, I wonder if it's updating it seems to be this it looks like it's updating instead of installing HTOP. Alright, well, while it's doing that, let's look at other uh, dock items. Alright. Error unable to find a match HTOP. Alright, if that didn't work, how about GIMP? Alright, they found GIMP. I think it did. Yeah, it is installing GIMP, so. All right, so GIMP installed. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll close that down. And that was our terminal. Let's look at help. So help has a few, few uh, sections here. You got the visual overview of GNOME. It tells you about the logging out and power session start applications and then if you scroll down it has another list of uh, items that you could find in help and on the bottom we have an about also so it's just a just a simple known help all right and then we have our software manager our software so this is a this is, uh, this, I mean, you saw I just uh, installed a uh, GIMP using the terminal, but this right here is a graphical installer. So, about software, All right, software 41.5. Let me go ahead and install one piece of software using this, uh, using the graphical installer, just so you get a get to see how it works is there anything what photos can I install photos yep let's go ahead and install it and then we'll take a look at it all right so photos is installed but before we take a look at it let's see what else we have pinned to the dock we have files your standard GNOME uh, file manager and the version on uh, files is 40.2 just your basic uh, file manager you have your folder layout here 
you want to change the view you click over here on this side get your uh, list view and then you can also come over here and uh, open up the hamburger menu and get other options so it's files file manager and the last item on our dock is Firefox Firefox is the Mozilla web browser it's uh, pretty common on uh, Linux systems I would say about 95% of Linux systems use uh, Firefox and opening it up takes you to the uh, Oracle Linux page so if you want to check out some information on your new system as soon as you open up your browser you'll be welcomed by the uh, Oracle Linux page uh, let's see what version of Firefox we're running one dot fifteen dot three no one fifteen dot three dot one ESR I think this is the same version as a uh, Debian the Debian uses the ESR version welcome to the unbreakable Linux network hmm. interesting all right and then on your applications launcher you have the apps your other apps so uh, let me look at the ones that I installed recently so I installed GIMP let's take a look at that hmm this looks new ah. unstable development version please test bugs against latest git master branch before reporting them all right, so I guess this is what the new version of GIMP is going to look like. All right, looks pretty cool. I mean, it's everything is still the same as before, but you can see the differences. All right, even the about has a has an upgraded look. Even the logo has an upgraded look. Everything. So GIMP, is, this is 2.99.8. All right. I guess before they start version three, they're just gonna name it 2. Dot whatever. So we get the version three. All right. And let's see, what else do we uh, install? I think photos. If I'm not covered. Yeah, photos, which is your simple uh, image viewer. So right here you have photos, albums, favorites. If you had any photos, you would just uh, click on the hamburger menu. You know, how do you navigate to your photos? All right, let me do it like this. So either photos will automatically uh, show up here. But how do you, you can create albums from favorites? Stars photos will appear here. All right. Yeah, these buttons are not doing much. So I don't know if it's an error or something. But anyway, let's see about. So photos, 40.0. Alright, pretty simple uh, image manager. Let's go back to the activities, open up the uh, application launcher, and let's get some disk usage information since we didn't have a uh, HTOP. We can get the same info pretty much right here. So, right here, you get a graph. Let you know your resources, what you're using, and you can change it to get different types of views. All right. Yeah. So clicking on your uh, 
could not always detect Occupy disk sizes. I'm not worried about that. And then, just is checking the uh, the system itself. Uh, let's see the disk usage analyzer for 40.0. All right, everything else is pretty much a uh, standard on here. Bracero is a CD, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, image burning tool. And it is version 3.12.2. A simple to use CD, DVD, burning application for them. So if you had a DVD to burn, audio CD, or just need to transfer some data to a DVD disc, if you still have a DVD drive, you can use Bracero to do it easily. Alright, everything else is pretty standard here. You got your office suite, you got your video players, you know, you got your calculator, text editors, pretty much everything that you need is on here. So everything is pretty basic and standard on here. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for this uh, overview of uh, Oracle Linux 9.3. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. Uh, I'll have uh, links in the description for the homepage and for the download links, also with some information regarding Oracle Linux. All right, so I'm gonna check you guys out later, and I'm out.